Real reasons why you should consider not moving to Haver de Grace, Maryland. Today we're here in historic Haver de Grace, a city located about 30 miles north of Baltimore. It's situated in northern Harford County and a few miles away from Aberdeen Proving Ground. Haver de Grace is a city that we get a lot of calls about from people just like you watching at home. There's so many great things to love about Haver de Grace. You're in an ideal location where the Susquehanna River meets the head of the Chesapeake Bay, and it's right off of Interstate 95 for easy access to commuter routes. There's a ton of charm and history in Haver de Grace, and there's so many things to do in the area. There's a whole community of people dedicated to loving Haver de Grace, and it's becoming more popular than ever. However, there are some drawbacks to living in Haver de Grace, and today we're going to cover real reasons why you should consider not moving here. Hi, I'm Rebecca Cole with Berkshire Hathaway Home Services PenFed Realty, and I help people just like you buy, sell, and invest in real estate in Maryland. So today we're in Haver de Grace, home to eclectic shopping, waterfront dining, great schools, and charming tree-lined streets. It's no wonder that Haver de Grace is a very popular place to live. If you haven't watched our video, Why I Love Haver de Grace and you will too, make sure you check it out so you see what all the buzz is about. Haver de Grace is perfectly situated between the employment hubs of Washington DC, Baltimore and Wilmington, Delaware, making it an ideal location for commuting. Many people have chosen to relocate here and the population is growing. Haver de Grace hosts a variety of festivals, concerts, and events throughout the year. And the city offers several arts and entertainment venues that draw in tourists from neighboring cities and states. The weekends can bring large crowds to restaurants, shops, and public parks. Some locals feel the city has become too touristy and the crowds have taken away from some of the city's small town charm. If you're not a people person or someone who dislikes crowds, Haver de Grace may not be the place for you to live. The influx of people moving to Haver de Grace has brought on a need for new housing construction projects and infrastructure improvements. Traffic congestion and road closures are common headaches for residents and could influence your decision to move here. Of course, if you're currently living in a densely populated area and used to commuter congestion, the traffic flow in Haver de Grace may seem like a breeze. Another real reason you may wanna consider not moving to Haver de Grace is the limited shopping options. While there are plenty of family-owned specialty and gift stores in town, Haver de Grace doesn't have a large name brand retailer like Walmart, Target, Home Depot, or Lowe's. If you're someone who relies on the convenience of chain stores for household shopping needs, this may be a hindrance. Although you can find plenty of large retailers in neighboring towns. Northeast has a super Walmart, and Aberdeen offers a Target, Walmart, and Home Depot. Grocery stores are also lacking in Haver de Grace, and there hasn't been a grocer located in the downtown area in many years. You're also not going to find a shopping mall near Haver de Grace. The closest indoor mall is Harford Mall in Bel Air or Christiana Mall in Delaware. Noise is another real reason why you may want to consider not moving to Haver de Grace. It's easy to be romanced by the charm and quaint small town feel and forget that this is an actual city. There's industry here, cargo and commuter trains, all of which contribute to Haver de Grace being a very noisy place to live, especially if you're within the city limits. Just as we've been filming this video, you can hear the noise from the church next door and the bells and the train has gone by at least three or four times. If you're looking to live in a quieter, more rural setting, a community on the outskirts of Haver de Grace towards Darlington or in neighboring Cecil County may be a better fit. Because so many people are looking to move to the area, competition is high for homes that show well and that are priced appropriately. But that doesn't mean it's impossible to buy here. I've recently helped buyers prevail in competitive multiple offer situations without going over budget or sacrificing a non-negotiable. There are lots of things to love about living in Haver de Grace, but there are also plenty of other options in the area if Haver de Grace doesn't end up being the right fit for you. Many people decide to move to the area around Haver de Grace and enjoy all the city has to offer as a visitor without calling the city home. If you're thinking of moving to Haver de Grace or anywhere else in Maryland, make sure you reach out to us. My contact information is directly below this video. And if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss any of our content.